Historically, the command line interface provided a way for users to manipulate a computer over simple or slower text-based connections. You might even have used it over something like a telephone line connected via a modem. Now, in spite of the ability of the internet to allow us to remotely control graphical user interfaces, the command line still remains a powerful tool so that we can perform certain tasks. Most users interact with a command line environment using the terminal application. Terminal was originally created for NextStep, which became OpenStep and then OS X. It is located in the Applications Utilities folder, and there are several ways to open it. One way is to navigate in the Finder to the Utilities folder. To do that with ease, use the Go menu, choose the Utilities, or you could use the shortcut, which is Shift-Command-U. Scroll down, look for the terminal, and you can open it by just double-clicking it. Another popular way is to use Spotlight as an application launcher. Either click on the Spotlight icon, or use Command Spacebar to bring up Spotlight as well. Type in Terminal, and when you find the terminal as a hit, you can either click on that, or if it's already highlighted as mine is here, press Return. Now my terminal was already running, so it's not going to start it up again. You may want to keep it in your dock, especially since we will use it throughout this course. There are at least two ways to accomplish that as well. I have my dock on the left-hand side, and it's hidden, so I will hover my pointer over there to bring it into view. If I use a secondary click on the Terminal app, which is either a control click or a two-finger tap on a trackpad or a right click on the mouse if you have configured that, you will bring up the menu of options and choose from the options item to keep in dock. Another way is to simply take the running applications icon, click on it, drag it off of the dock, and drop it back on the dock someplace else. I will move mine towards the top of my left-hand side dock. Now the application icon will stay in the dock until we remove it. The terminal works with another item called a shell. A shell is a special command line tool that is designed specifically to provide text-based control over other command line tools. Notice that one of the menu items in Terminal is called Shell. Click on that to see the items. Choose New Window. Hover over that until you see a pop-up menu to the side. And choose one of these other profiles. The names of the profiles give a clue as to the colors and appearance of the terminal window. Here I've chosen this silver profile, which has a translucent effect. Doing that again, I could choose something like ocean, which has nice blue colors. And again, we could go with something red or even green. Experienced command line users may be looking for different command line shells in the shell menu, but that is not where that information is located. Instead, Apple uses the shell menu mostly for appearances and managing the windows, and also it has items like the ability to export the session's text and even to send communication terminal resets if necessary. For now, experiment by opening several of these shell profiles. If you find one you like, I expect you will want to make it your default.